Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Just got finished doing my live stream with uh, Big Sills and Philly 500. Philly 500 is definitely pissed off about where the Eagles are right now. Um, be that as it may, maybe we got a little bit of something here. Um, right now, you know, there's Devontae Adams. We've heard all kinds of stuff on there um, about, you know, the possibility that the Cowboys have been in contact, of course, with the Raiders. And <clears throat> about 12 o'clock, we heard that the Cowboys are not interested because of the cost and so on about um, Devontae Adams because, of course, the Cowboys are cheap. But <clears throat> since that time, we then have Brandon Cooks, who's going to be out at least this week, maybe longer. Apparently, Brandon Cooks, unbeknownst to most people, had some kind of procedure done on his knee. And this is where I'm wondering, is this something that's chronic that's been going on? Because Brandon Cooks missed a lot of time in training camp and left and went back to Dallas a week before everybody else did in training camp. And Brandon Cooks have not looked like he has been Brandon Cooks. So he apparently underwent some kind of procedure. There's some kind of an infection since then that they are treating now. And we don't know how long this is going to go. You take out Brandon Cooks. Now you've got Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks, and so forth. You don't have a whole lot. And you've got Jake Ferguson, who's still coming back from an MCL. And you got CD. This may change the sense of urgency for the Dallas Cowboys to make a move. Now, I, I, I do know that Dan Salio is good friends with Stephen Jones. I do know this. And he supposedly has been in contact with him. And I want to play for you what transpired during our section here. Let's go to the tape. Mozzie sucks. You know what's funny? In the last two weeks, Mozzie's played really well. Mozzie's really? stats really? are literally really? identical to Jordan oh Davis. My God. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm telling you. He had a tackle for a loss. Last game, he had three tackles and three assists, including one for all. His numbers. Against no, the fucking your eyes, Giants? Hey, a wins, hey bro, bro. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So we're now not looking at. Now we're grading games of teams we're playing. Yes. You get Molly Wobb by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That you all thought you were going to kick the teeth in, right? The Bucs since, since December 6th of last year are 11 and 4. They're okay. not back. Yeah, and you guys They're are three and that. you guys are three and eight. That's bad. All right, Junior. I got Playoff a question win. for you, though, Cowboy. Who playoff? Oh, no, no, we're fucked I up. I, I'm just trying to enjoy this week. By the way, it is a real thing. There Talking to Steven mm -hmm. and getting a text back with a with a, an emoji of a smiley face. Mm -hmm. This Devontae Adams thing. Mm -hmm. It's. It looks like it could be between Jets, Casey, and Dallas, the Cowboys. Um, your take on that, and then the Dallas Cowboys with C.D. Lamb. I mean, look, if you get C.D. Lamb and Devontae Adams, oh, geez, you, you would have the best receiving core in the East. Well, here's the problem, and here's where there may be a sense of urgency. All jokes aside, um, here. Um, what here's the problem for us now is Dalvin Cook has got some kind of infection in his knee. He's already out for this week and may miss a couple of uh, games. OK, he's your next most experienced receiver. And there's been something going on with him the whole time because he left training camp a week early and came back to Dallas and they didn't say what it was. He missed time in training camp with his knee and so on. So now you're looking at it and saying you only have one weapon and that is CeeDee Lamb. The Cowboys, of course, don't like to spend money, and Devontae Adams is $27 million. But the Cowboys have traded with the Raiders, uh, I want to say, 10 times. 
You know, so there is a relationship Cooper, that's Cooper, there. Mari Cooper is the last one. Right. So there is a relationship there that might end up Thanks, being Sean. good. Now, I don't know if the Cowboys, and maybe you uh, know more about Stephen Jones. You know, the Cowboys don't want to spend money. They've just paid the money, of course, to C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott. Although, you, maybe you're not looking at paying Micah Parsons at the moment because of how he's going right here. But Devontae Adams is a steal at $27 million. A twenty-seven. Yeah, I agree with you on that. But remember, we're talking about the Cowboys that said we couldn't afford um, Derrick Henry, who was only nine million. So I would love to see it because I look at it and say Dak and, and CD need another target out there to spread the ball around. Washington you get him there, it'll help another, us. Washington is also another potential landing yeah, okay. spot mm-hmm. for um, Devontae so, Adams because the Raiders would like to trade. Tom Telesco has been on this show. Uh, Philly, uh, about two or three times he was the um, GM of the Chargers when he was last on, and he, he, they're they're actively moving him. Washington is also a potential landing spot. You'd have uh, Terry McLaurin, and you would have Devontae Adams for that kid. And by the way, I predicted that the Commanders would win the East. Right now, they're in first place. They're three and one. Yeah, but look at the who they played so far, though. Look, uh, yeah, I mean, I, they're probably I, I, the healthiest. They, they are the healthiest, healthiest, and they have a the young guy. But thus far, all right. So that's what we, we we discussed at least on there, and already on. You know, if you look at Twitter and everything else, uh, Cowboy fans are pissed off. Cowboy fans are truly at the moment screaming um, about Jerry Jones, the general manager, and as of today, uh, no Dalvin Cook at practice. Um, yeah, no, Dalvin Cook isn't even at practice today. So when you start thinking about um, what's going on here, um, I hate to say this, but I think the Cowboys are going to need to basically, until we start getting defensive players back, and we are hurting big time, we're going to need to outscore people, and you can't outscore people with just C.D. Lamb. And this is why I think there should be a sense of urgency to reevaluate and saying we need to get another weapon in here right now because what we got right now is not going to be good enough during this murderer's row stretch. So there you have it. Um, Mike McCarthy said that Dalvin Cook has looked good in practice and, and will get his opportunity, but he said there's no reason to move away from the other guys at running back. They just need more carries. <sighs> yeah. So there's that. And one other thing here, too, to put in here. One reason the Cowboys can't call up Dalvin Cook this week is you only get two practice squad elevations, and they need him to do um, to need them at more critical positions. So with Micah Parsons and D-Log gone, they're going to need to use those on somebody else. And also, too, we're going to have Brandon Cooks, who might be a week or two with the infection in his knee. So even if they wanted to at this moment, they can't bring him up. So there you have it. All right, good people. The Cowboys, they need to make a move here. I think Jerry Jones needs to after saying that, you know, uh, nobody knows how to do this job better than him. You got to do something. Peace out.